Hey yo, we're back for part two of episode nine, the finale of The Haunting of Bly Manor. Let's watch. Once more, and before the au pair knew it, a year had passed. A year? She's still here. She would have something for you. Oh yeah? Cinnamon flower? Yeah. <laughs> the romance! They're really rare, you know. <laughs> yeah. She does. I've got a problem. You see, I'm not sick of you. At all. I'm actually pretty in love with you, it turns out. <laughs> One year became two. <laughs> and from two it spread into an endless time. So it seemed. Three. Four. Yeah. Five years. Yes. Yeah. Five fucking years. And there was peace. The made it to the nineties. <laughs> And that peace held for years, which is more than some of us ever get. Oh, no. Fuck off. How many years in this kitchen? My cooking is still shite. What happened there then? Found it on the street. I wanted to save it. Give it here then. Oh. She's so talented. Yeah, see if you can salvage it. You're my best friend. And I love my life. <laughs> and I don't know how much time we have left. They couldn't even get married in the 90s either, fuck's sake. You. And I know we can't technically get married. <laughs> but I also don't really care. We can wear the rings in one more. Okay? And that's enough for me. It's enough for you. <laughs> I like it, that's enough for you. Okay, let's go finish. What is this show doing to me? To Hannah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm you. Okay, yeah, uh, try to go when I can. <sighs> no, actually, uh. I don't know if I could. <sighs> I don't. Like, obviously, she's gonna, she's gonna end up going, isn't she? Like, in one way or another. The way the writers link everything as well, you know, to like, like, real illnesses, like, <sighs> dementia and depression and other mental health issues and a lot of memory, a lot of fucking everything. It's, it's, it's brilliant. Let's play. Henry, Miles, Flora, Flora's boyfriend. Oh, they're all Where's older. Where's my boyfriend? Just 12. She's 17. 
<laughs> Say twelve when she's seventeen. Terrified. Thank God he's sober now. He drink himself into a grave. So they're all happy. It's understandable. Yeah. Don't remember anything. It's like similar what we're on about with Hannah, you know, when you have a traumatic experience and you block it. Yeah, just have a conversation, a very deep one. Oh, come on, don't have it. Don't fucking no. I don't know how to do this because they're not going to be okay, are they? I'll marry again when we can. It looks like that's no. <laughs> Please tell me that she's alive. doing that oh cat she's got no Danny she's probably left hasn't she to save Jamie <laughs> this fucking show uh, this fucking show and she could not risk the most important thing her most important person not for one more day What the fuck is she going back to Bly for? Oh, Jamie, I thought it was Danny that went back to Bly. What is she doing? What is she doing? What are you doing? The gardener said the words she'd heard those years ago. She killed it. Of her, of her beautiful 
beautiful, perfect face. But she won't be hollow nor empty. And she won't pull others to her fate. She will merely walk the grounds of Bly, harmless as a dove, for all of her days, leaving the only trace of who she once was in the memory of the woman who loved her most. I'm sorry. I told you. The story wasn't exactly short. You would find no such place by that name. If you were to find the manor, though, perhaps you'd see her. It's all in it. No, no way to. So is that the young Cole and is that Miles and? Shall we? Oh no, because they're getting married. You okay? Perfect. Just enjoying the fire. Oh, it's not far. I love you. I think you set it up wrong just in the beginning. Is that so? Yeah. You said it was a ghost story. It isn't. No? It's a love story. <laughs> it's a love story. Same thing, Mary. You only get with your forever person who loves you as much as you love them. I start getting really, really terrified that he's gonna, before I do, and then what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to just live a life that he's not you He's speaking to the wrong girl. Well. Oh, sorry. I mean, she knows what it's like, but still. Don't let that hang over your happiness right now. But there'll still be a piece of him. And you'll hold them tight. It'll be like he's here with you. Do you hear me? You know he's gone. <laughs> Still got a ring. <laughs> that name. Then I figured, how could you know that? It's a funny coincidence, I suppose. My middle name is Flora. Is that right? Huh. Good night. Who is that woman? That um, woman whose middle name is Flora. It's not Flora, is it? I mean, it, it. Flora is American. This is it's not. Is it Flora? That actually pisses me off so much. Absolutely, fuck no. Like Flora being American pisses me off more than oh. If this is Flora. Nah. Oh yeah, it is. It is. Oh, Flora. Seems like every time I try to hide it all I'm so happy tonight But your love is over Please say honestly You are so It's so fucking sad I shall be <laughs> this song this fucking show this show is amazing I knew that I knew we weren't going to get a happy ending But it was better, it was honestly better than I thought it'd be. I mean, they had some really good years together. And they did, they made the point, like, people, some people, most people don't get that. I, I'm just way too emotional for this shit. I cried basically all the way through it. At least it wasn't Peter and Rebecca occupying Jamie and Owen's bodies though, like I thought. It was really Jamie and Owen. Owen. Owen and Hannah loved each other as well. And they never got to say it to each other or be together. 
I under I obviously understand why Flora's American because children's accents change so easily when they move. But it would just it's one of those things, it's like, you know, like British um celebrities that make it in America and then they raise the kids in America and so they have American children. It's just ugh. it's like no, they're supposed to be British. It's not really that bothered, but still. It it was a good thing though to confuse me because I didn't I didn't think that she were Flora at first. All of the actors are great. I I've gave a lot of props to Tania Miller and she deserves them, by the way. But all of them, all of them, uh, uh, Miles, the the little the the little actor that plays Miles, is really good as well. Um, the more I thought about it, you know, the, the when he slips in and out of the Peter and Miles and stuff, like... But, like, all of the actors, both the children, Jamie and Danny, like, Victoria and... Is it Amelia or Amalia or something? Owen. The uncle, like, he... All of them, fucking... Well done for... The, the writing, the acting, fucking give them all the awards. All of them. All of them. This fucking show. I can't believe it's over. Need to find something else to watch now. Preferably something that I won't cry at. <laughs> Just everything about it, like... Oh, bravo. Bravo. So, that was my reaction to The Haunting of Bly Manor, episode 9. The final, the finale. It's over. Danny is dead. But I... I kind of knew. What a show. What a show. I'm not sure what I will be reacting to next, but I will be reacting to something else. So please subscribe, stick around, like all my stuff, and I'll see you for the next one. Ta-ra!